Welcome to GI TV. Of course, GI stands for Great Impressions, and today we have another organization who is going to make a great impression. Today I have R.T. Pobjecki, who is the current chair of the board of directors of the Greater Winter Haven Chamber of Commerce. Now, since that's rather a mouthful, I'm not going to do any more talking. I'm going to hand you over straight over to R.T., who's going to tell us all about the chamber and uh, give us an introduction as to why we should be members at this critical time. Thank you, John. It's an honor to be talking with you today. And as chamber chair, I am very honored to be a part of this organization because I think through the crisis, it has really risen above the call of duty. The chamber, if you're not a member, they have been sending out at least three, four emails every day advising members of the latest resources for COVID, connecting chamber members to lenders to make sure that the businesses are protected. They also have weekly chat meetings, coffee and conversation meetings on Friday mornings to make sure that our members' concerns are addressed. And the chamber has proven over the last few, it's hard to believe we're going on, on over a month, that it's more than just a networking organization. It truly in this crisis has become a research arm for our members, a marketing department, and even human resources department all rolled into one. So if you're unsure of what the chamber can bring, now is the time to check it out because it really has, it is there for the members and for our businesses. Fantastic. Now, I can attest to this. Uh, we are members of the Chamber and uh, yes, it has been a real rock for businesses. I mean, it's been a very confusing time for a lot of companies, very stressful time for a lot of companies, an awful amount of information to try and find, digest and sift through. And I have to say the Chamber has been very, very good at actually doing a lot of that legwork, and presenting it to members, uh, members and making it available so that they can actually save time and find out what's going on so it has been fantastic and so for me uh, and i'm sure a lot of people well done guys it's been uh, superb um of course a lot of people that sorry i was talking over you sorry <laughs> no go for it so i was just gonna say in the first few weeks when the crisis broke they fielded the chamber team members fielded over a thousand phone calls almost a day i mean now there's still over 100 emails and um, telephone calls that they're still fielding to make sure that both our community residents and businesses are safe. So I'm proud of their hard work that they're doing and they've progressed since we can't have meetings, we have had to cancel our networking showcases. They're extending that to having Zoom chats and with experts in professional fields such as human resources and payroll departments and so forth. So they've really trying to, trying to make sure that not only is your business protected now, but that there's also, you're able to grow your business when we're, this epidemic is behind us. Yes, and, and that's a good point. And in fact, the chamber, I think, you know, what was wonderful is it immediately you guys all stepped up, got into the frame, worked out what you needed to do, and just got on with it. There was no time lag. It really was an immediate uh, response. So certainly anybody watching who isn't a chamber member, then uh, certainly if, if you're still experiencing or anyway, uh, looking around for support and help, now's a great time. Um, quickly, what sort of resources are being provided by the chamber overall? I mean, is there anything specific that, that companies should be aware of that if they're not members would be worth their considering joining? So cham the chamber team was on the forefront of having Zoom training meetings, They how to set up work were a remote work site, um, providing up-to-date information from the state leaders, our federal leaders. Every day, the chamber team members are on webinars, conference calls, and so forth to make sure that that information is released to you as it comes forward. So they really are trying to make sure that you are protected, your business is protected, and your valuable assets of your employees are protected. And in doing so, they're, again, if you need help, they can connect you with a lender and so forth. And they're just making sure that businesses are safe as possible during, the, as we try and get through this epidemic. So, um does the, I mean, from what you're saying, the Chamber does actually provide more than just a networking opportunity. It's not just a drinking club for businesses in Winterhaven. No. 
we haven't started the social happy hours, but maybe we could do that. <laughs> but I think right now they're too busy taking phone calls to pour drinks. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and in- even before this happened, yeah. I one of the things that moments that stuck forth stuck in my mind is every year the chamber does a capital connection trip in Tallahassee, and a gentleman in the community with a business he had there was a state law or state issue that was interfering with his business. And he goes up to Tallahassee and he was introduced to to the state legislatures and his problem was corrected with the next legislature legislative session. Well, the chamber can't guarantee results like that for everyone. It just shows the power they have with the connections we have. And it's a powerful resource. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the fact that, you know, that, that is even possible and that the chamber can help navigate those sorts of issues is uh, is well worth it from that point of view. Um, also, if, if people are sort of curious to find out more about the chamber and understand how it helps businesses, um, what's the best way for a company to, to get that information and find out more? Definitely. You can go to the Winter Haven Chamber website at www.winterhavenchamber.com. There's some information and resources, up-to-date information. You don't have to be a member to access that. And also, like the Winter Haven Chamber of Commerce, it's actually the Greater Winter Haven Chamber of Commerce Facebook page, where you'll also see more up-to-date information. And uh, as far as I'm aware, I mean, the, the Winter Haven Chamber is a, is a particularly active chamber, isn't it? I mean, when you compare the size of Winter Haven, perhaps, to other cities in the vicinity, but actually compare the number of members and the number of accolades that the chamber in Winter Haven actually receives, it it's, wins some pretty high awards. And it's actually got a, a pretty good uh, accolade in relation to other chambers, I believe. It's, it's part of a particular set group. Yes, I mean, I'm so proud of the Chamber. They have five-star accreditation, which is very difficult and even more difficult as a smaller Chamber. But that just shows how hard the team has worked and their dedication and passion to make sure our community is grows and thrives. And that's reflected in that five-star accreditation that not every Chamber has. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really worth it. I mean, I've been a member of various chambers in various parts of the world, I have to say, and this one certainly is one of the most active and most dedicated and most supportive to its members. So, um, yeah, from a personal experience, uh, definitely fully endorsed and, and it's a great, uh, a great organization. Um, I think that covers it for today. That's given people a good indication of, of what the chamber is doing. And obviously they can visit and find out more from the website. Um, I only have one uh, question and that is, when do you think the networking sessions are likely to start again? Is it still very open-ended or do you have some sort of ideas? I have a feeling it wouldn't be till July or August. I know from my business perspective, the federal government is closed until at least June 4th and that may be pushed back. So I don't predict anything before June 4th and maybe a little longer. Okay. So in the meantime, everyone needs to stay safe and healthy. Absolutely right. And from a business perspective, if they need some support, some guidance, some help or helping hand on certain issues or navigating certain things, then getting hold of the chamber is definitely worth doing, isn't it? I think so. I, as a small business owner, I have to maximize where I spend my money, but the chamber dues, it's, it's a no-brainer in re- renewing that. I couldn't agree more, yeah. It's exceptional, exceptional value for money. So, Artie, thank you very much for coming on to the program today. I certainly look forward to socializing with you at some stage in the future in one of the events. And uh, perhaps on a future program, we can find out a little bit more about your own business uh, there, Pajeki and Pajeki, and we can uh, talk further about some of the wonderful things that you're doing with the firm there. Thank you, John. I look forward to it. And thank you for letting me spread the good work of the chamber.